on the blog again. Just can't wait to do a vlog again. The life I love is making vlogs for my friends. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Doing a vlog again. Going places that I've never been. Seeing things that I may never see again. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Siegfried Fischbacher, half of the world famous Las Vegas magic and entertainment act Siegfried and Roy, died of cancer eight months after the death of his long-term business partner, Roy Horn. Fischbacher was 81. The legendary magician's death comes less than a year after the passing of his longtime stage partner, Roy Horn, due to complications from COVID-19. He was released from the hospital early this month and was being cared for at home by two hospice workers. His sister, Dolor Fischbacher, a nun in Munich, Germany, told NBC News, We're on your side. Thursday, the Fischbacher died Wednesday evening at his home in Las Vegas from terminal pancreatic cancer. Due to the pandemic, Dolores said she could not visit him for the holiday season, but had kept in touch and was on the phone with the renowned illusionist for about 30 minutes before he passed. He was only able to say, okay, Dolores 78 said. It was kind of like an amen. He is not dead. He will live on in my heart, she said. The German-American duo met aboard the T.S. Bremen cruise ship in 1957 where they bonded over Horn's pet cheetah Chico, which he had smuggled on board. Working as a steward and entertainer, Fischbacher enlisted Horn, the captain's bellboy, to assist during his nightly magic act. After the show, Horn popped the question that changed both their lives. Siegfried, disappearing rabbits is ordinary, but can you make a cheetah disappear? Siegfried and Roy, known for their work with big cats, put on a Las Vegas show for decades until Horn was in a near-fatal accident that put a stop to their long-running act. Horn died in May of complications from COVID-19 at the age of 75. Their eventual act, which blended tiger taming with David Copperfield-esque magic and a gaudy dose of Liberace Blitz, launched in Sin City circa 1967. But it was their $30 million, 14-year run at the Mirage Hotel and Casino beginning in 1989 that propelled them into global stardom amid the height of the era of excess. Siegfried and Roy in their private Mirage Casino apartment in Las Vegas. We did what we did out of love, not for success or for money, Siegfried once said. According to his reps, we had a deep respect for each other. We literally raised each other. I created Roy, and Roy created Siegfried. In 2003, a 380-pound tiger, Montecor, bit Horn's neck and dragged him off stage after he collapsed at a show in the Mirage, Las Vegas. The attack crushed his windpipe and left the 60-year-old partially paralyzed. Siegfried was born in Rosenheim, Germany, where he developed an early penchant for the art of magic. The pair used a collection of animals on stage that included white tigers, white lions, leopards, jaguars, and an elephant. On Horn's death, Fischbacher shared a few parting words. From the moment we met, I knew Roy and I together would change the world. There could be no Siegfried without Roy, and no Roy without Siegfried. And that's going to do it for us here today at the Top Vloggers. We are extremely sad and would like to send out our deepest condolences to the friends, family, and fans of Siegfried and Roy. They were probably the best team of, mus uh, of magicians to ever be together. Uh, definitely, if they are not the best, they are definitely in the top three. And uh, as a big fan of magic, uh, I am very saddened to see them both have passed. We lost 
Roy last year and now Siegfried. So it is uh, very sad for me uh, on this day to know uh, that these guys are no longer with us, but that their memory will live on forever. Thank you so much for joining us. I think that's going to do it for us here today. Top Vloggers.